Hey everyone, today I'm still out here reviewing products for your Glock 43 from Strike Industries. Just finished uh, doing my video on the plus two base plates from Strike Industries. Next up is gonna be their uh, replacement slide plates for the Glock 43. Now they have a couple different styles as well as a couple different colors for you to choose from. Uh, the one that I have currently on my Glock 43 is the red one with the, with the two lines for the uh, little uh, push down detent thing. Um, now just FYI, I did not pay for these. Strike Industries sent these to me uh, at no cost to myself. However, I think uh, as you'll find out when I do the wrap up, uh, I think I'm still able to be relatively objective about these. So definitely look forward to that. Um, now I've actually had these for probably six to seven months now. And one of the reasons I waited to do the video until now, just like with the extended base plate, is I really wanted to make sure that adding something like this is not gonna adversely affect reliability of your Glock 43. Obviously the most important aspect to any sort of carry firearm is that reliability. And when you start messing around with swapping out parts, you're always running that risk of adversely affecting that. So I wanted to run hundreds and hundreds of rounds through it, just like with the base plate, I think I've probably got Actually, probably more since I've been putting other magazines through it. So probably just under a thousand rounds with this base plate on here. And uh, I've had zero effect on reliability whatsoever. Um, now, before I get too far ahead of myself, let's go ahead and take you in a little bit closer and look at this and see what it actually does and uh, how it works. All right, so here we have the Glock 43 with this base plate uh, installed. Now, as I understand it, one of the main purposes of this base plate, in addition to just an aesthetic improvement, is uh, making it a little bit easier to fully disassemble your slide. So let me go ahead and demonstrate that right now. Um, so uh, just take the slide off here. Now, normally, when you look at the factory uh, floor plate, which I actually have, so let me grab that real quick. So when you're looking at the original factory floor plate, as you can see here, um, you know, it's just got that texturing on there, which means that whenever you wanna disassemble your slide, you have to get something kind of skinny and then push down on the little sleeve that's around the striker to relieve pressure off this back plate and then you can take it off. However, what these allow you to do is to actually remove these without any tools whatsoever. So if you'll notice, there's this raised area. Because those are there, all you have to do is when you push down on those, you should be able to take the slide plate off without any tools and then you know you can take your striker out you can take your uh, extractor spring out you can do pretty much anything you need to basically it just comes in two separate pieces and if you look at the the back of this piece here it's just nice and flat that pushes down against the back of the sleeve right here and then allows you to just slide that floor plate off uh, now, again, they have two different styles that I know of right now. They have these with the two lines, and then they have one with just a triangle in the back, and it does come in multiple colors. So I have this red one here, and then I also have a black one. Now, if you were to ask me what I would recommend to you, uh, personally, I'm not a fan of doing anything that draws attention away from your rear sight, or excuse me, from your front sight. Um, and having a giant red plate in the back of, uh, of your Glock is probably gonna be a good way to draw some of that attention away from, uh, from the sights, even if it's just for a microsecond. That's not something you necessarily want. So personally, if you're gonna do an upgrade like this, I would recommend going with the, uh, the black uh, you know, I do get that some people want to do more of an aesthetic upgrade, in which case, you know, you can go with one of the other colors if you want, but nonetheless, you know what my recommendation is. Now I'll let you decide for yourself, but if you are going for aesthetics, I, I really do think that that red looks really nice on the back of that slide there. Now I also wanted to mention that one of my big concerns with something like this is if I can take this off without tools, that could possibly mean that I, it could come off inadvertently. But I will tell you right now, if, if you're carrying this or anything like that, there is not enough clearance below that slide plate there for this slide plate to come off, even if you are legitimately trying to. I've, I've actually been sitting here for the last little bit trying to force it to come off to where it might affect function or anything like that, and you, you physically can't do it. There's, again, there's just not enough clearance uh, below that slide plate for that to move at all. So uh, you definitely don't have to worry about that coming loose or coming off. Uh, while you're actually using the gun, which is a good thing. So there's really not too much else to talk about when it comes to these. They don't really affect functionality at all, from my experience, and it does allow you to take off the slide uh, or disassemble the slide without tools. Now, here's where I'm gonna be real with you. 
I've never had an issue <laughs> disassembling a slide with tools. I always carry a multi-tool on me. I've never been in a situation where I've had to take the slide apart and I haven't had the tools available to me in order to do so. So in my opinion, this is not a necessary upgrade. Uh, however, I know there's a lot of people out there who do like to personalize their Glocks. I've seen really, really stupid stuff put on the uh, plates that people put onto their uh, slides. This, in my opinion, is a better option than that because you're getting a little bit of extra functionality, i.e. the tools disassembly, and you're not putting something dumb that could possibly hurt you in a civil suit. Now, I know there's gonna be people who say, oh, you know, if it's a good shoot, it's a good shoot. It doesn't matter what my slide plate says. Possibly. If you want to roll those dice, feel free. Go ahead. However, my, me personally, I don't want to put a Punisher skull or, you know, anything that could potentially show a state of mind that I am more apt to want to resort to lethal force when it might not be necessary. So again, if you want to replace your slide plate, I think this is a better option than a lot of those really dumb slide plates out there that you can buy. And it comes in around the same price. Uh, and again, if I, if you were to get my recommendation, I would get a black one. However, if you want the aesthetic, they do have multiple colors available, as well as the couple different styles available, again, with the two lines, and then the one, uh, the large kind of triangle shape. So again, I'll have links below to where you can find this, so you can make that decision for yourself if that's something you wanna do. Again, is it a necessary upgrade? Absolutely not. Um, and me personally, I pro if, if Strike Industries hadn't sent me one to review and to test, um, it, it probably wouldn't have been an upgrade that I would have gotten around to trying. So with that said, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and throw those in the comment section below. If you're really mad that I think that uh, some of those wordy slide plates are dumb, then feel free to let me hear it in the, in the comments. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, definitely subscribe to my channel. You'll get alerts anytime that I post a new video, and so you'll be the first to see cool stuff like this. But with that said, as always, I hope you're able to get something out of this video, and I really appreciate you watching.